it's not the fashion show. Okay, so I have three super cute, super normal questions. Nothing serious for today. So one of the questions was, sorry, I had my turtle here text them to me because she was using her phone to record. So let me find, let me find. If you could have one superpower, any superpower, what would it be and why? <laughs> so you mean any superpower as in flying, um, super strength, anything. Laser eye beams to kill people. I mean, let me think. I mean, there's so many options, right? I have to say I would go with mind reading. Ooh, mind control is a bit too scary for me. Also, I would kind of want it to be discreet. I would want it to be something I could get away with. And I feel like the reason I would do mind reading is because people are so much funnier in their head, right? Like there are things that people don't say and they'll think and it's just hilarious. And then the once in a while that they say it out loud, you're just like, damn, that was going on in your head. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, I mean, of course, I also can see the bad side to that, <laughs> but I can handle the truth, you know? I'd rather be able to read somebody's mind, know what they're really feeling and thinking versus just listening to what they're saying and having to like basically take their word for it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely I would want to be able to read minds. That was easy. <laughs> There's one more question, two more. What do you miss about being a child? That's kind of vague. I miss a lot of things about being a child. I miss not having a care in the world. I miss going to the park. I miss running away from home for like two hours and thinking I was in Mexico. I miss, <laughs> um, you know, but actually, yeah, there's one thing I miss the most. You know what it is? I wonder. I wonder if she knows because she's my close friend. Hmm, ditching high school. Well, that's not really no, childhood. No, no. childhood. Okay, um, I, I guess the thing I miss most about my childhood would be pretending I'm sleeping just so my dad could carry me all the way up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be wide awake, but I was like, no, why should I walk? I don't need to walk. I'm gonna pretend I'm sleeping. So that's what I miss about being a child. Oh, that's cute. Your favorite animated movie and why? Those of you that have me added on my personal account would already know this. Alice in Wonderland! Why? Because it's not just a children's movie. It's animated, yet adults can watch it and really enjoy it. And I'm not saying that there aren't other movies like that. I mean, of course, I love Lion King and I also love um, Little Mermaid. And I don't know, there's so many that I like. James and the Giant Peach. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of animated movies that I'm interested in, but I think the best one is gonna be Alice in Wonderland. The Mad Hatter, their tea parties, uh, falling through a hole, but like going, <laughs> like re going in reverse. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit. I mean, it just covers so much that they don't miss a single thing. They make you happy. They make you sad. They make you scared about the, of that Queen of Hearts girl. I mean, there's every emotion in that animation. So yeah. I love that. Um, but yeah, I, I do like other ones too. That's kind of a hard question because I like Lion King a lot too. But who doesn't, right? And then I also like, I kind of liked Ice Age, the first like one or two. What else is there? I loved Coraline. I, I absolutely loved Coraline. If you have not seen it, you need to go watch it. Such a good The movie. other mother. <laughs> you need to go watch it for sure. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I like a lot. I like all of them. I can't just choose one. But one I could watch repeatedly might be Alice in Wonderland. And just because of the many ways that they actually decided to animate it, there's so many different versions of it out there, you know? Yeah. They're all interesting and unique and creative. It, it forces you to use your imagination. It literally forces you. If you don't have an imagination, watch Alice in Wonderland. Like, you will be forced to think of the craziest things. Um, what else? 
I think that's it. Do you have any more questions? Not for today, maybe later. Such easy questions. Wow, I'm surprised. Well, that's good to know that nobody's struggling with some serious major life-changing issues. Well, I'm sure some people are, but um, yeah, feel free to message me if you have any more questions. Or if you have any, if you have any, I don't know, recommendations on movies or TV shows. I'm kind of running out. I've seen them all. So DM me. <laughs> Or if you need advice, you know, you know where to find me. Also, for one of my followers, I have finally, finally taken the time out to make TikTok! <laughs> so it's going to be X Isaac. Like, ask Isaac. I yeah. love it. Ask Isaac, X Isaac. I tried to keep it simple. I'm not going to use it like a lot, a lot. I think my main motive here is to help people, motivate them, obviously, or, you know, pass the time with some interesting, silly questions. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I've been making TikToks growing up my whole life, like without even knowing what TikTok is. Like my entire personal Instagram is me singing along to <laughs> Punjabi music, uh, you know, Urdu music or whatever, you know, Bollywood, Hollywood, I have it all dancing in the middle of the parking lot like my entire personal instagram is basically a tiktok <laughs> if you think about it so i just feel like uh i don't want to say it's like a waste of my time i do enjoy it it's just something i would want to do in my personal time but if you guys are interested and you do want to watch it add me i'm gonna try to make some fun tiktoks today actually we'll have fun with it so yeah Love you guys. Have a great, wonderful day. Just because I'm doing TikToks doesn't mean that I'm not going to be answering questions anymore. So don't be scared. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye-bye.